I'm here today with the Enphase IQ50. It's a 40 amp electric vehicle charger. I'm gonna do my quick charge 10 minute review to help you decide if it's the right electric vehicle charger for your garage. Before we jump into the review, let's first take a look at the IQ50's key features. The IQ50 with a NEMA 1450 or NEMA 650 plug retails for $835. If you order the unit as a hardwired unit and it doesn't have the plug, it's $26 less and it costs $809. The dimensions are 19.7 inches tall, 8.9 inches wide and 5.3 inches deep. It's a 40 amp charger that will deliver 9.6 kilowatt to your electric vehicle. It has a 25 foot long cable. It comes with the J1772 connector. There is no NAX option, it's just J1772. You can, however, charge Tesla vehicles with this charger with the adapter. It has a NEMA 4 rated enclosure, it gives it very good weatherproof rating. The operating temperature, now this is the ambient operating temperature, not the surface temperature of the unit, is 122 degrees Fahrenheit to negative 22 degrees Fahrenheit. It is a Wi-Fi connected smart charger that comes with an app. It is CETLUS certified, so it's safety certified. It's an Energy Star rated unit, and it comes with a very long five-year warranty. We'll talk about that later. This unit is made in Mexico. However, Enphase has facilities in South Carolina and Texas, and I believe they're gonna start manufacturing their charging equipment at those facilities soon. First up, let's open up the box and see what comes inside. All right, let's take a look at what came in the box. We have the body of the unit here. I got it with the uh, NEMA 1450 plug. The IQ50, which is a 40 amp charger, can be ordered either hardwired with a NEMA 1450 plug or with a NEMA 650 plug. We'll go into that a little bit later. Uh, but uh, initial impressions, um, you notice how short this plug is. That's um, really tight there for you to get your uh, plug plugged into your NEMA 1450 outlet. I wish this was a little bit longer. Um, has a really nice connector. We'll talk about this a little bit later. Nice long cable. Uh, this is the connector holster. Uh, I like this connector holster design. Comes with two screws for the connector holster. Two <laughs> monster screws for the body of the unit. We'll go over installation next. Uh, over here we have, this looks like a quick start guide, right, with a QR code that uh, you use to download the app. This is a Wi-Fi connected smart charger, so you want to pair it with your app. And then also a big user manual, really thick user manual. So it's probably in a couple languages, but um, that's a thick uh, manual. Most chargers now just give you a, a link to look up the uh, installation or, or the user's manual, but they, they give you one here. And over here, this is something really interesting. They included a Hubble NEMA 1450 outlet, uh, which is not a cheap uh, piece here. This, this is expensive. Uh, and uh, the uh, outlet cover and the screws and everything. It also comes with a two-year warranty. That's for this, th this outlet here, not for the unit. The unit has a, a really robust warranty, even better. And then also the installation guide that has all the proper uh, amounts of torque you need to tighten each terminal at, which is really important. That's why we see a lot of these outlets fail when they're under torqued or over torqued. That creates problems and excessive heat. And that's when we see these things melt m m more often than not that and aluminum wiring and just shabby installation is really what causes it. Let's next take a look at how to install the unit, both as a plug-in unit as I have and also as a hardwired unit. For that, I'm gonna to need to open the box up. Uh, if you're doing it as a plug-in unit, as I have here, it's really simple. All you have to do is screw two screws, one on the top and one on the bottom. They provide them. These are pretty chunky screws, so you'd probably wanna 
drill some pilot holes. You want to land this on a stud. Uh, it's the unit's not extraordinarily heavy, but once you drape the cable around it, you really need to get this thing on a stud. I, I urge against using, say, drywall anchors unless you have to. You really want to bite into wood. And with these big, thick, beefy screws, it'll secure really well to the wall if you can land it on a stud. They also include these angled washers. That's because the plastic here that you're going to be screwing through is angled. So when you put the washer in, in it, it flattens it out. Let me see if I can get it in place while I'm holding it with one hand. That's if it's a plug-in unit, that's simple. Now, you can also order this as a hardwired unit, which personally I prefer you do. I like the hardwired hard -wired units better. Uh, and you're saving uh, $26. Uh, it costs $26 left less if you get the hardwired version. Now to hardwire it, you have to remove these six screws on the back. So I'm gonna take those off right now. And once you have the screws off, you can remove this back cover. You can see in here, uh, here's where the wires come in for the NEMA 1450 plug. They wouldn't be there. Obviously, if you ordered this as a hard, hard wire unit, there would just be a hole here. Now, if you did want a clean installation and have the conduit coming through the back of the unit, say like I have here with this Tesla Universal wall connector, you can see there's no exterior conduit. You can drill a hole in the back of this cover somewhere and bring your wires in here. Probably, you know, you'd probably want to do it right on this side here, the back of the cover. Uh, and, uh, you know, you could pretty much drill anywhere on there. It's, it's not a problem. There's a lot of room in the back of here. And uh, you're going to land your two um, power wires up here, the grounds down here. Uh, even though I'm showing you how to do this here, I do uh, urge all my followers to get a, a qualified electrician, particularly one with a lot of experience installing electric vehicle charging equipment to do all of your home charging equipment installations. Uh, my channel sponsor, Qmerit, is the nation's uh, largest installer of electric vehicle charging equipment, and uh, I recommend using them. If you don't use Qmerit, I do recommend that you hire a professional, pull a permit, do it right, do it once, have it inspected, make sure everything's done right and safe, and you'll have many years of safe EV charging. Okay, well that's how you'd hardwire the Emphase IQ50. Pretty straightforward, simple to do. Now this is a Wi-Fi connected smart charger that comes with an app from Enphase. Uh, so next up, let's take a look at the app and what you can manipulate while using the app with the charger. The Enphase app is available for both Android users and Apple users. Once downloaded and paired to your charger, you can set schedules to take advantage of low cost time of use electricity. You can also enter your current local electricity rate so you know exactly how much it's costing you to charge your EV. It will store charging session records, daily, weekly, monthly, and even yearly totals so you know exactly how much you're paying to charge your EV. There's also a feature called StormGuard that if you set your address into the app, it will automatically override charging schedules if there's an impending storm and charge your vehicle immediately to 100% as long as it's plugged in so you're fully prepared in case there is a power interruption in your area. And if you have other Enphase home energy devices like solar electricity or stationary energy storage, you can pair your charger with your solar system and charge your EV exclusively from excess solar generation. Now as for testing, the Enphase IQ50 passed all of our tests. Cold weather testing, cable deep freeze testing, extreme heat testing, automatic restart test, it passed everything. And I've been using the unit for a couple of weeks and it's performed flawlessly. As for scoring, it finished up with a total of 90 points on the chargerator and that gave it a score of 4.25 stars out of five. Enphase also offers this charger in 32 amps, 48 amps, and 64 amps in addition to this 40 amp unit. Well, I hope this quick charge 10 minute review of the Enphase IQ50 helped you decide if it's the right unit for you. You can watch the full extended version of this review by clicking the link in the description of this video. And as always, thanks for watching.